Hey everyone! So I wanted to stop rhinestoning. I've been doing some really cool pop sockets and then I started rhinestoning my Luffy piggy bank. But I decided I wanted to stop and um, I'm going to do just a real quick video about using the clear acrylic strips. Um, I have had a couple of people ask me some questions. Um, so I decided to get my Lotso Bear acrylics out. I bought them because that's when I was going through my big hype of buying up a bunch of squared acrylics because a bunch of people ran out and then when they got a bunch in, I decided to just like buy a lot. <laughs> and I mean, he's cute, you know, he seems pretty popular. So I'm going to make just a little, um... I think I'm going to do like a little drawer because um, that's where it's best to use the clear acrylic strips. Um, I'm not going to make the video that long so I'm going to start gluing these um, and then get the panels together and then once I start to get the clear acrylic strips on I will come back on and show you guys how I do it. Okay so I've gotten some of the stuff done and I wanted to show you what I do. So basically what I'm doing I'm doing a drawer on the bottom and then a little cubby part on top. Kind of like I did with my Dora CC, but bigger. So this strip is what I got. I got several of them. They're, it's like a meter long. The one on Timu is like 10 inches. Let me get my other phone. Hold on. Okay. So the one thing I don't like about the ones I got is since they had to, um, like, bend them for shipping, like, I have to try to, like, put it almost over a flame to get it to straighten. But the one from Timu are, like, 10-inch strips, so you don't have to worry about cutting them unless you have to combine, like, a couple together. So, if you go to Timu, oh, hold on, I bought, a, I bought some, like, last week, and they were on sale for, like, $10, but if you just type, hold on, clear acrylic strips, or strip, sorry, I just hit something. It's the first one that comes up. You'll see they look like rods. They're $14.98. And these are exactly what they are. And you literally get 120 10 inch ones for like 15 bucks. And that's a really good deal. So I highly suggest getting them. Like it's been a game changer for my boxes. And basically what they're used for is if you need to make something just a little bit bigger. Like, for me, it's drawers. Um, I like putting these on the edge of the shelves so it widens the shelf so my drawers slide in and out better. Or if I do a cubby on top of a drawer, usually the very front panel has a little bit of a gap. So then I put one on the side so it'll meet the side panel. So that's kind of like what I use them for. So um, if you do use them for drawers, you have to put one on each side of the shelf. And then you also have to put one on each side of the back panel. Not the drawer though, because the drawer will go in on the shelf and slide in and out just fine. So I'm going to cut these to the length of the side really quick and I'm going to do two of them. Okay, so I cut eight pieces because you have to remember we're widening like the base of the box so every piece you need to widen except for the drawer so basically the way that this is gonna go is we're gonna have two for the bottom base two for the shelf piece that's gonna be under the drawer 
two for the bottom piece of the cubby, two for the lid, and then I actually need to do two more because I have to do the back panel. Let me get my stick. So the police debated on whether or not they should just so dumb erase it. Or like we should just erase it. I was it. trying it to I mean there was no sense in the whole neighborhood. Think of everything in my head and then I'm like, God dang it. <laughs> I forgot two pieces. But yeah, so since you're widening the base, all of those pieces, you you have to extend all of it. And then if you do ever get a meter <laughs> I just kind of line everything up and cut it. I'm going to actually measure these pieces so I can see. And I'm really glad that I ordered more off Timu because I've been using these a lot. And I'm almost out on my strips. Because I've done um, my Sailor Moon shadow box I put them on. And I did three drawers. And then my one skull panda drawer with a shelf thing I did. I used them. And then my Dora CC box I used them on there. Like, I've been loving them. And then, oh, this box. Hold on. So this skull panda box I did, I decided to make like four cubbies in a box and basically what happened is when you do something like this you're putting dividers on the inside right so we have one coming across here two here now since you do dividers going you know vertical and horizontal you can't fit any of the panels on top of the bottom acrylic. So I had to glue each panel on the outside of the bottom acrylic. And you know when you do that, they don't meet up to glue them together. So if you add a clear acrylic strip to the corner, you can then meet them together. So that's what I did with this box, so that way it could be secured. So that's another use that you can do if you ever do like a cubby where you do that many dividers on the inside of it. You can put them in the corners to make sure all of the panels meet up. Okay. Okay, so we got the bottom piece. The bottom of the shelf, okay. Okay, so bottom piece, drawer, shelf. Bottom of cubby. Lid. Back piece, okay. So this one is right there, okay. So mine are just ever so slightly curved. Sometimes I try to kind of bend it with my hand, but that doesn't work all the time. So this is where my candle helps because you, they have to be as straight as you can get it. Because if they're not that straight and you try to glue it onto the side, it's just going to start lifting up. If it does lift up for any reason, I take a piece of tape, just like scotch tape, and I'll tape it like around and on the acrylic piece while it dries so it you know it holds it to that okay um let me see do I have a tape measure here hold on let me get a ruler and <laughs> I finished my one piece pop-up box and I ended up um putting them in the corner right here on the sides because for some reason when I was putting the inner box in the base, the, these side panels were like undoing themselves. So it was really weird. Like I've never had that happen before. So yeah, I just added those right here and it gave it more room 
and then I added them along the bottom of the bottom piece so that way it pushed out the side piece more to meet up with this strip I put on this panel and now it works beautifully so there's another example like it was the best thing to buy ever okay so let's measure so I don't want to do it all the way all right so 10 inches that's how long the strips are from Timu and my strips and these are going on you know two eight centimeters of the panel So it's about six and a half, so you will have to cut them if, of course, you do them like this size. Um, I mean, ten inches, those are pretty good sizes. So the dykes work really good at cutting them. Just to throw that out there. Okay, let me um, see which ones are the straightest really quick. Okay, so this one... Seems straighter, and that one. We'll do that one. Okay. So the easiest way to do this is to glue it on the side of the acrylic, and then you push the strip on it. Sometimes you might have to glue it on the strip and then put it on the acrylic, but it still works if you have to do it that way. I shouldn't have taken the film off. <laughs> I think I was going to use this um, for a different piece, but then um, I saw this scuff on here. So now I'm putting it on the very bottom because I didn't want that to be on the drawer. So that's why the film is off. Okay. So I'm going to run it along the glue along both sides so that way I don't have to wait for one piece to dry and then do the other. Because if you only do the one side and you don't wait for it to dry all the way, I have had some start sliding off. <laughs> so I would just definitely glue both sides of the piano. My cat is trying to get in my room. Hi, Jojo. Okay. These are just so awesome. Okay. So then I just push it. Against it, I also use my little bookmark thing to help. I can see right away that I did cut them a little bit too big. I'll just have to trim it up a little bit, it's fine. But if you notice that they are a little bit too big, trim it before you glue it to it. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to cut just a smidge off of here. Yeah, I don't know what I did before these. <laughs> like, I think that's why I would get so frustrated when I did anything with drawers. Like, no matter how good I put it together and made sure everything was where it should be I never could get the drawers to be smooth you know like I still have problems um let me get if you didn't see the Sailor Moon video I did um what you can also do so see how smooth these come in and out like it's amazing so if for any reason 
you do cut them a little bit too short and then you start putting everything together. I just added charms to hide it. Like I started noticing and I'm like, I'm not going to go back and recut it and then re-glue it, <laughs> you know? So like the insides for the shelves, it, you know, it didn't matter. But like this piece that went along the top and then um, in the back right here, I wanted to make sure that I covered it. So I used charms. <laughs> so if you ever run into that problem and you cut it a little bit too short, just use a charm and it'll look really good. Oh, my other butterfly one just ripped off. Oh my God. I was a little hesitant on using the glue that I used. I'll just glue it back on. Okay. So this is basically what you do. So you're going to basically glue it on your bottom panel, the shelf, the bottom part of the cubby, the lid, and then your back panel, and then you're just going to glue it together as normal. Or whatever you're making. Um, you just have to make sure that you just put it on the pieces that you're widening. So if you're only doing, like, drawers... Don't put it on the drawer piece. Just put it on, like, everything else. If you're doing a drawer with a cubby or a couple of cubbies, like, even my cubby that I do with the drawer that swings out on the very top part, the cubby, the um, front panel, the way it sits on, it needs a little bit more room, and that would work perfect to glue it to the side panel. So... These are amazing. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to throw together a real quick box and kind of show you more about these clear acrylic strips. Um, they're awesome and I would definitely suggest getting them. But yeah, if you have any questions about anything else with the clear acrylic strips, just leave a comment or try to message me and I will definitely help you as much as I can. And, of course, when I'm done, I'm going to show you the results of my little drawer cubby box. Okay, so, I started, I kept getting shelf stuck in my head last night because I'm so used to shelves with drawers. I don't need a shelf. I basically need the bottom piece, and then, of course the drawer right here and then we're going to need the bottom part of the cubby we're going to need the back piece the lid and then this is going to be like the side piece because the side piece since you're extending your box you don't have to put them on the side pieces so sometimes my camera doesn't like to zoom on these because they're clear but that's what they look like, and you can see I put scotch tape on the sides. I even put one on the other ones just to make sure they stayed. Also, if you ever notice that your... Oh, where did it go? Which side was it? Okay, right here. Wait, other one. If you ever notice, like, when you go to put the glue on your acrylic and then you push the clear strip into it and you do get some glue on the strip you can just use like tweezers and scrape it off that's what I do okay so I'm gonna actually do these are my new tweezers I just got and boy do they take that film off so good but they will scratch the crap out of my acrylic so I gotta be careful okay so this one has tape on it so what I do if I tape anything down I basically just take the actual film off and then I kind of make sure to hold the acrylic strip and then it all just kind of comes off. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go through and start getting all of my um, pieces of tape off and I'm going to start getting the film taken off so I can just put this together really quick. All right, so I finished it. So I decided to just do a shelf type thing with two drawers 
and like look how smooth they open. That's why I love those clear clip clear acrylic strips. So originally I was gonna do a top and have like a lid thing, but then I was kind of looking at the size since I did um you know the eight centimeters. I did like made it big because I kind of wanted to try to use up as many of my acrylics as I can because I don't know. I just not a big fan of Lotso, but there might be somebody out there that might, you know, want to buy it. But I had a panel made, but I'm not using it because for the front panel right here, if I stack two fours, um, rows of fours together, like it's going to be way higher. And I just, I don't want to do all of that. So shelf drawers. Now what I'm going to do, um, so when you do the clear acrylic strips, sometimes you'll end up with um, spots that are higher, lower. Sometimes you just want to cover it up a little bit. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm doing charms. <laughs> I love putting charms on a bunch of stuff. And then sometimes, like, in the very front, like right here, it's kind of sticking out a little bit. I mean, it's not that bad, but this one's sitting flush. But yeah, that's the wonders of those clear acrylic strips. So I just wanted to kind of do a real quick video to show how I put them on, where I put them on, why I use them, and multiple ways you can use them. So just remember, anytime you want to make things bigger, wider, that's where you're needing to stick those strips at. And if you do dividers on the inside of boxes like I showed you with my skull panda and all of your panels are on the outside then you're putting the clear acrylic strips like in the corner because these need support so all right guys definitely get them remember go to Timu all right bye guys